I know that she's not going to be this young forever, but I'm going through it right now. What advice do you have for me right now in this moment? Hello everyone, como ya saca fet? It's your girl Jasmine here. And in today's video, I am finally doing a proper sit down, get ready with me. And I'm gonna be sharing some updates and some of the things that I've just been feeling in this current season of my life. So let's play in some makeup while we get up close and personal. I am 17 months in. Oh my gosh, look, I am breaking. I'm breaking out right now. This isn't because I'm wearing makeup. This is because I've just been stressed and overwhelmed. And mind you, Aunt Flo came back this month with a vengeance, but Lord, when I tell you that I have been struggling, just this past week, I've been struggling. It's been a challenge for me to say the least. Don't get me wrong, being a mom is a blessing, it's amazing and things like that. But I get overwhelmed. I don't have my village. And when I talk about my village, I'm talking about my mom and my sister. Yes, I have in-laws, they're a couple towns away, but I don't know, There's just the person that I am, I don't like asking for help from people that I don't really, no, no, you know what I mean? Like my mom and my sister, they know me, I know them. Like I can just talk to them about anything. I don't wanna vent, but it's hard. It's really hard to not vent. And sometimes you just wanna let it out. I feel like this is just a part of healing for me, just venting. And yeah, I vent to my therapist a lot about this current season that I'm in. I don't wanna seem like I'm ungrateful because I am not. I am extremely grateful that I was able to give birth to a beautiful, smart, courageous, kind little girl. But she is a lot. Can I keep it real with y'all? Can I keep it real? There are some times when I look back on my past videos, the quality, my, my freedom, the fact that I could have just like spent the whole weekend filming content, the fact that I didn't really have any responsibilities outside of myself, the way that I took care and took pride in designing my set, getting my hair done, my nails did everything did. I look back at those videos sometimes and I miss the person that I was. I miss her bad, you know what I mean? I don't know if you've noticed these past couple of videos, it's just kind of been, I don't know, the quality isn't the way that I'm used to dishing out quality content. A lot of times I'm just like scrambling to just film something while she's sleeping or while she's out for her walk, which she is right now. That freedom, yo, I desperately miss that freedom. And another thing that I miss oh, is being able to sleep however which way that I want. This little girl likes to wake up in the middle of the night and just have my boob in her mouth just the whole night. I'm at a point where I just wanna get some sleep Miss the man's a light sleeper and he doesn't like her crying at all. I mean, I could probably let her go for a while, but that's neither here nor there. We've just appeased her so much ever since she got here with the boob in her mouth. And that's all she expects from me. She demands it even. And what would I give if I could live outside these waters? What would I pay to spend a day out on the sand? I've been hinting at Mr. Man that for my birthday, all I want to do is be cooped up in a hotel room by myself for the night. That is all I want for my birthday. The old me would want to go traveling somewhere, would want to go far, far away. I just want a bed. I want to be alone without being touched. I wanna get back to Jasmine. I wanna get back to creating the content that I love. If it were up to me, I would hire a nanny. I legit would. I would hire a nanny to just be in the house and like play with her while I do what I gotta do. I don't mind cleaning, I don't mind cooking, but y'all, take the baby. All I need is four hours a day to myself. That's where I'm at in my motherhood journey. And you know, a part of me feels so guilty for even complaining. My sister got four kids now, 
two under the age of two. She's definitely got her hands full more than I do. And I feel bad for complaining to her or venting to her. There is a support group for new moms. And I used to go to that group a lot, but I, I stopped going because it's like I hear the same thing. It's, your baby's not gonna be young forever. Cherish these moments. I know that she's not going to be this young forever, but I'm going through it right now. What advice do you have for me right now in this moment? I wanna hear stories of how moms got through it. I wanna hear other moms venting. I want camaraderie. And you know, it really, oh, this part is going to maybe rub some people the wrong way, but I, I, I'ma say it. Misery loves company. And you know what? Sometimes I just wanna feel like I'm not alone in what I'm going through. That's all. I just don't wanna feel alone. I want to bond with other women who share the same struggles because I think when we're able to share stories with each other, it just, it helps so, so much and we're able to laugh and cry and kiki. And that's what I want. I wanna be able to do that back and forth, but it's really hard to do that with um, the, the mom support group at the moment. Do any of y'all go through this? Have any of y'all gone through this as first time moms or just like moms in general? Like how can I make this journey bearable? How can I make this journey easier? for myself. Right now, I'm only giving her milk nap time and bedtime and in the middle of the night. Before, she would have milk all throughout the day. Like she would just whip out my boob and start just sipping away. And that was an issue because it would take her forever to go to sleep. But now I know that the key is to hold off on giving her milk for as long as possible. So that way I can have enough milk to give her to go to sleep. But let me know what you've been doing, or what you've done in your motherhood journey. And when did you see a light at the end of the tunnel? What age were they when you saw that light? Please let me know. In other news, ooh, do you see my, do you see my breakout? This side is fine and everywhere else is fine. It's just this part. But in other news, let's talk about locks because I know that's why y'all started following me in the first place. What I end up doing was a basket weave upward and then I kind of rolled my locks to the side like this. I haven't gone to the salon in such a long time. I want to say November was the last time I went to a salon. I've been washing my hair and just being done with it. <laughs> I'm holding off on the salon right now only because I want to start my locks over. The plan is I'm gonna cut my locks off. I'm not gonna comb it out. I'm gonna give it to my stylist to comb out because what I eventually wanna do is just do the parts over and have her crochet it back in. That is the goal, my friends. Let's do some blush. That process is going to cost quite a bit. I think she quoted me for like five, six hundred dollars. And I was deliberating, like cutting my locks off and doing it myself. But at this point, I am tired of doing my locks on my own. I'm tired of trying to figure out the parts in the back and everything like that. I'd rather just leave it to a professional so that way she can do my parts. This current lock set that I have, I did it on my own and I did box parts. What I want to do next is irregular parts. That's what my stylist suggested. The old me wouldn't like the idea of having irregular parts. I'm at a stage now where I need to let go of perfection. I think perfectionism is ruining my life to be honest with you. It's like I try to be as perfect as I can, but then I end up ruining or spoiling whatever it is I'm doing. Like with my locks, I try to make it super perfect and boxy, but it was not perfect or boxy. And now I got double headed dragons all over my head because some boxes were too small and all the boxes aren't even equal. So they end up being irregular anyway. And I would like to get it done before my birthday, but I don't know if I'll be able to have the money uh, in time before my birthday. So I can't even say that. I am curious to know how my hair is going to look short though. I'm have a TWA for a couple days while she does her thing with my locks. You know, I think she's gonna wash them and clarify and all that stuff. I am going to be trying out some lipsticks. All right, let's try this one. Mmm. -hmm. Oh. 
Oh, she cute. I think I'm gonna keep it. All right, there's another one, but I don't know where it is, child. Let's hope this hair looks like something. I may need to pat, 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 pat. And I know you guys probably are looking for a hair restoration update. Here's the right side. Here is the left side. Let me just take it back like this, the left side. And let me show you the back. So I did a basket weave as best as I could going up towards the crown. I used about three pins and that is the hair. I see some sticking up right here. Before I would need to use rubber bands, pins. Now a part of me really wants to wear these earrings, but these have rusted so bad. What is this? I don't know what this is, but um, let's just put them on anyway. The old Jasmine will wear hoop earrings, like huge hoop earrings like this. I love the look. I don't know, what say you? And you know what's so crazy? After getting done up with my hair did, my face did, and also venting and sharing what I've been going through, I feel a lot better. I think maybe I just need to take care of myself more. I feel like I've just been pouring from an empty cup. My cup is empty. And I think doing the things that I love help to refill my cup. So I need to do more of this. I need to create more content of things that make me feel beautiful and make me feel confident. So I'm just so glad that I had these uh, 45 minutes to do this because, oh, I'm about to cry right now. I feel really good. I'm really grateful. Mr. Man, he constantly reminds me to practice gratitude every day. And it's something that I uh, don't always do and I should definitely do more of that. So I'm grateful for this roof over my head. I am grateful for 45 minutes to myself. I am grateful for all of you who are listening to me. I'm grateful. I wanna thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribing to my channel. And with all that being said, Peace, girl. Just know that I love my baby, okay? But you know, I mean, if you're a mom, you know. You know, right? I don't wanna just, you know. I ain't gotta tell y'all. Cause I, I, I know y'all smart and I know you know. And yes, <laughs> I still want kids, obviously. I still want more kids. But I'm just saying, in this season of my life, it's hard, like, I think for all parents, I think for all mothers, it's just hard. It's a test. And are you gonna be able to pass it? Is the question. All right. Let me get off my soapbox and let me um, try on some more makeup. Cause this was fun. All right, let me go.